Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another mini lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be showing you how you can harmonize basic single note melodies. This means that we're going to be kind of implementing chord shapes into a basic melody line. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take a basic chord progression, A minor, D minor, G major, E7, A minor. We're going to create a melody line that follows that chord progression. And we're going to be harmonizing it using some chord partials. Okay, let's see how that's done. Okay, jumping into section one of this lesson, learning the chord progression. Now, the first step to harmonizing a basic melody line is to establish the chord progression that it's being played over top of. Now, using this information, we can create chord partials. These are three or four note versions of a chord that can be played elsewhere on the fretboard. Now, we can take those partials and kind of link them up with specific notes inside the melody line. Okay, so an example of a chord partial, if you take a chord like A minor, find another voicing of that chord, like for example the A minor bar chord shape, you can sweeten it up adding in the dominant 7, okay, and then create a partial of that chord just by playing the top four notes of it, so something like this. That would be a partial of A minor 7. Now the actual partial that I'm going to use is going to be called A minor 9. Okay, adding in the 7th fret of the high E string. So this is an example of a partial that can be implemented into this melody that we have. Okay, so once again, the chord progression that we're going to be working with is A minor, D minor, G major, E7, and A minor. Okay, now that we know the chord progression, let's learn the single note melody before we harmonize it. Okay, so I kept this very simple because I wanted to demonstrate how adding chord shapes or harmonies into your lead lines is really a great way to embellish something that is very simple. So this melody line is coming from the A natural minor scale. Okay, and it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that is five, seven, slide it up to 12, down to 10, 10, 12, 13, 15, and then right back there to the E note on the 12th fret of the high E string. Put that together and we have. Okay, now moving on to our third and final section, we're actually going to be harmonizing that lead line, making it much more rich. Okay, so your harmonized version of that melody line is gonna sound like this now. Okay, so let's start off learning the chord shapes that were implemented into the melody line. We're starting off with A minor nine. Okay, the full chord of that would be open A, 5th fret D, 5th fret G, 5th fret B, and 7th fret of the high E string, A minor 9. We're going to take this exact shape and bring it up to the key of D minor. Okay, so that's going to be the 10th fret position. Okay, just playing from the D string down. D minor 9. Okay, the next uh, partial that we're going to have is a partial of the chord. G9. Okay, we're just going to have the 9th fret of the D string, and we're going to have the G string, B string, and high E string's 10th fret. Okay, and of course I play that with my middle finger and index. Okay, the next partial that we're going to have is going to be E7 flat 9. So this is going to be an E7 chord, but with an F in it just for tension. That's something that I really like to do before a resolution, put in a tension note. Okay, so this is going to be a little zigzag shape. Okay, actually looks like this. All right, so that's going to be the 12th fret D, the 13th fret of the G, the 12th fret of the B, and the 13th fret of the high E string. That zigzag shape. So these are all the chord shapes that we're gonna use before going back to A minor. Now here it is in a simple triad. We've got the 14th fret of the G, the 13th fret of the B, and the 12th fret of the high E string. Okay, and it's going to link up perfectly with that final note inside our melody line. 
Okay, following along using my tablature at patreon.com slash book lessons, we're going to start with measure one of this harmonized melody. Okay, we started off strumming the A minor 7 partial before adding that 7th fret of the high E string. And I usually do an upstroke on that note. All right, then we're going to take this entire chord shape and strum the D minor 9 chord. So we have. All right, then from there, I just played the high E string 10th fret by itself. Notice that little slide up. Okay, now we're gonna go down to that G9 chord. Okay, in the simple melody, we just had 10, 12. But now we're gonna be playing a strum of that uh, G9 partial and then an upstroke on the 12th fret high E string by itself. So far you have. Okay, then we're gonna get into our zigzag shape. Just a nice slow drag across the strings. Then we're gonna have the 15th fret of the high E string by itself before going to the minor triad, A minor. So notice that some of those melody notes are backed up by chord shapes. That's usually the most musical solution. You don't wanna back up every single note in the melody with the chord shape. Okay, let's take everything that we just learned and put it together, that entire harmonized melody line. One, two, three, four. Okay, then at full speed. For a harmonized melody and your lick of the week.